Hi, I'm Bridget Palmer and I'll be bringing you fresh ideas to create quick and easy meals and treats for kids that are great value. Today I'm baking these easy cinnamon rolls that are yeast free. I'm going to show you a quick version and get your house smelling like a bakery. For these little cinnamon delights you're going to need self-raising flour, brown sugar, select ground cinnamon, butter, milk and mixed spice. Click here for the full recipe and to add all the ingredients to your trolley when you shop online. I've preheated my oven to 200 degrees. Into a large bowl, sift three cups of self-raising flour and one teaspoon of mixed spice. Then stir in a teaspoon of salt and two tablespoons of brown sugar. Make a well in the centre and add a cup of milk and 150 grams of melted butter. Using a wooden spoon, mix until thick. Now at this stage, we don't need our spoon anymore. You can just form it into a loose dough with your hands, just like that. Dust your workbench with flour. We don't want this dough to stick. Dust your rolling pin with a little flour as well. Start with a basic shape. Shape that into a nice, rough rectangle shape. If you start with the basic shape, it's much easier to roll into the right size. To make these cinnamon rolls even easier, buy the ingredients online and have them home delivered. Time to start rolling into a 24 by 40 centimetre rectangle. OK. Let's make our divine cinnamon filling. Combine a quarter of a cup of brown sugar, one teaspoon of cinnamon and half a cup of walnuts in a small bowl. Then scatter over the dough. It's going to add the most incredible cinnamon nutty flavour. Now we're going to roll this up. Start at the long end that's closest to you and roll away from you. The tighter you roll it, the more cinnamon swirls you're going to get in your rolls. Nice and gently. And you want to finish with the seam underneath. This is going to help our cinnamon rolls stay together when we bake them. Then cut this into eight slices. Place them onto your baking tray, about one to two centimetres apart. If you like the look of this, be sure to click here for more sweet treat recipes. Cover these with a tea towel for 10 minutes just to let the dough rest. It'll give us a fluffier, lighter cinnamon roll. The cinnamon rolls have had a little rest now. Brush them with some milk. This is just a nice light glaze for them. Now, if you try these at home, please leave me a comment. Let me know how you went. Now, they go into a 200-degree oven for 20 minutes or until puffed and golden. When the cinnamon rolls are done, let them cool on a wire rack. While these are cooling, I'm going to show you a really quick and simple icing. Combine one cup of icing sugar and one and a half tablespoons of milk in a bowl and mix it all together. That's ready. It's a perfect drizzling consistency. Let's ice these cinnamon rolls. Drizzle beautiful lines straight across our cinnamon rolls. And there they are. Easy cinnamon rolls. The perfect after school treat or for mum's morning tea. Now if you like that, all ingredients can be purchased at your local Woolies and online by clicking here. To subscribe to our YouTube channel, click here. To explore all our other kids' recipes, click here. And for more sweet treat and dessert recipes, click here.